Hi there. So in this video, we're going to see how to create a pie chart for categorical variable. So the first thing that we have to do is search for our pie package. So question mark pie should after execution show us the help related to pie chart. So here it is. And here you can see it shows you what it does, which is draw pie chart, then how to use it. And what are the arguments that it accepts so let's create one R script first set working directory let me choose D drive then next thing I want to do is I want to create one vector named X so let me assign some value okay so we have total four values and then we have labels Okay, so this labels vector will contain values for our pets. So first cats, then dogs, then fish, and then birds. These four values in each vector. Now the next thing, we are going to export this in PNG file. So use PNG function, then point to file. And then call for pychart.png. Next thing, call for pi method and give your x vector and labels vector. Okay. Okay, and finally, just export your PNG file so that it will have your .png file in working directory okay so let's execute and find out how it goes so first thing set wd when you run it it will set your directory to derive then our x vector is created in global environment then labels then your png file then pie chart is created okay so the here uh, we have used character so we have to change that from character to numerical okay now let's execute our pie and if you check plot You will find that on your hard disk so pie chart dot png should have your pie chart okay so the values for each are differed with the vector values that we have given okay so this was one example on how you can create pie chart can also change the way the colors appear here so let's change that first thing type in main equals to pet shop pet then set this to color equals to rainbow and within bracket length and then x okay now let's execute our code again and you'll find the change in our pie chart you can also change this and let's just refresh this So let's see how it goes. And the file is exported on your working directory as well. Okay. Now there is one more method with which you can create your pie chart. So if you want to use, let's say data set, then you can call for require. Then 
data set then call for data check width and let's say I want to check for feet and from table check width I want to check feed and let's print out our feeds so let's execute this okay so here's our list of values and i want to create pie chart using feeds okay so let's do that and on right hand side you will find the data sets pie chart okay so what we have seen so far is how to use pi function how to create a simple pie chart how to use rainbow colors for the values and also seen how to use data set for creating pie chart